Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible and sharing those with you. Today we're looking at 2 Kings chapter 2. Do you live with a fear of failure? A lot of people do. God met Elijah on Mount Horeb and commissioned him with three tasks. You can check that out in 1 Kings 19, verses 9 to 18. Of those, he only accomplished one, the anointing of Elisha to take his place. So, he accomplished one of those three. Was his life a failure in the eyes of God? That's the question. This is a critical question for us to consider because how we answer it and how we internalize that answer has vast implications on how we live our lives. As we will learn from Elijah's story, the mantle of authority must be passed from one generation to the next for the fulfillment of God's will. And for the church, that's the great commission found in Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. Go and make disciples of all nations. The answer to the question is found in 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 11. One of the most famous scenes of the Old Testament where we see God bestow honor on Elijah. And I quote, Behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, which separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven. Wow! Elijah was brought to heaven with an honor escort of the heavenly host, not to be seen again until he stood with Moses at Jesus' transfiguration. You can read that in Matthew 17, verse 3. Elijah was a success because his mantle of authority was passed to Elisha, just like Moses passed his to Joshua in Numbers 27, verse 23. Walking in the spirit of Elijah, Elisha did many signs and wonders, and he finished the work God had given Elijah to do. Elijah equipped Elisha for the task, then passed his mantle to him. And in doing so, he fulfilled his mandate and received the reward of heaven. Elijah did not fail. He was faithful until he ascended. Seize the moment and follow Elijah's example by taking on, then passing on, the mantle of leadership passed on to you by Jesus. Now get this. Jesus passed his mantle on to those first disciples right before he ascended in Matthew 28, 16 to 20, Mark 16, 14 to 20, Acts 1, 4 to 8. So just like Moses passed his mantle to Joshua and Elijah to Elisha, it has been passed from gener generation to generation, from Jesus to his first disciples to you today. Seize the moment.